Right, uh, today uh, we're looking at uh, the AirPods Pro 2 which is not a new product and we've looked at it before uh, but it has uh, been recently updated with some exciting new features um, and of course uh, there's been a big iOS um, and iPad OS uh, update recently as well. Uh, and some of those features include things that I have talked about uh, already in some reviews uh, in uh, recent weeks. Uh, so, uh, for example, uh, when you're uh, wearing your AirPods Pro 2, uh, you can now shake and nod your head to uh, communicate with Siri, which I've found really useful uh, uh, with things like um, I've got Siri set up to uh, notify me. Uh, with a spoken notification when my security camera is set off um, and obviously if I'm the person who set that security camera off because I'm standing there I don't need that notification and I can just shake my head and interrupt Siri and it goes away. Um, so you know that's a useful feature. Also uh, the, um, the noise isolation on uh, the mics now with the AirPods. So if you're on a phone call or a video chat um, it doesn't matter what's going on in the background. Wind traffic, office noise, that's all completely cut away and the person at the other end uh, can hear you loud and clear. Great features, but today the feature I really wanted to um, focus on the most is uh, hearing assist, uh, So, which uh, literally has the potential to turn uh, your AirPods into hearing aids uh, should you require them. So um, why would you want to do that? Well, there's a few reasons. Uh, so uh, firstly, um, there's the hassle of if you uh, have hearing aids but you also uh, like AirPods, uh, you can't really wear them both at the same time. Um, and so uh, you might have to take your hearing aids out, put your AirPods in. Um, even if you've got hearing aids that can connect to um, devices like uh, TVs and phones and things um, uh, with... Um, you know, via Bluetooth, uh, they don't necessarily have all the cool features that the AirPods uh, do. So, uh, yeah, basically, by combining the two, uh, yeah, you solve that fluffing around. Uh, another reason is kind of a vanity thing. I know, uh, well, I think of it that way, uh, uh, which might be a little bit harsh, but I know that some people feel like wearing hearing aids is... Uh, just sort of broadcasting to the world that uh, they're getting old and they're a bit embarrassed about it. Uh, I don't know why people need to be embarrassed about hearing loss. Uh, one to one and a half billion people around the world suffer from hearing loss, so it's not like you're the only one. But I just I know that that is a valid way that some people feel. Uh, and so even though they might have gone through the process of getting hearing aids, uh, they're still embarrassed to uh, wear them either, uh, either because of the way they look or just you know they just don't like it. They just find it a hassle. So uh, now, uh, because your AirPods Pro 2 can be hearing aids, uh, you can just look like a cool hipster uh, wearing AirPods. And uh, yeah, all that sort of stigma or perceived stigma it goes away. But for me, the, the best reason that you would do this is uh, its price. Uh, a decent pair of hearing aids can cost $3,000 or more. Um, really the sky's the limit whereas your AirPods Pro 2 although they are quite expensive in terms of in-ear headphones uh, we're talking $479 New Zealand uh, for the AirPods Pro 2 um, th that's a lot less than $3,000 for the hearing aids and if they do uh, pretty much the same thing it uh, seems like a, yeah, a no-brainer to me. So anyway, today I wanted to sort of talk you through uh, the process. It's a very simple process of exactly uh, what's involved in um, using this new feature. So make sure that your phone or your iPad is um, updated to the latest version of iOS or iPad OS, um, uh, and you've paired your AirPods Pro 2, uh, so they've got the latest uh, firmware as well which makes use of the very flash H2 chip that um, runs them, of course. And then, um, you, you know, you'll obviously, you want to pop them in. And then you grab your phone. And you go into uh, the settings. Here we go. There's my, your AirPods will show up there. And then now hearing assistance is right at the top of things that you can uh, look at uh, with your uh, AirPods setting. And so uh, there you can see that you've got the option to uh, test your hearing 
and um, all the instructions are there. Uh, it's it's uh, very clear. And the first thing that it'll get you to do is um, check your fit of of your AirPods. Now, this is uh, very important. It's very important to get the best out of your AirPods anyway uh, to do that um, that fit test. And um, interestingly for me. Uh, I've got one ear where uh, my earpod or uh, you know other earbuds that I've worn, uh, if they're going to fall out, they'll fall out of this ear, um, while they might be snug and stable and sealed up in this ear. And I always assumed that that was because this ear was too big, uh, and that's why they were falling out. And yes, uh, you can try different size ear tips, but somebody told me a little hack that is if if the if your earpod falls out. Instead of going for a, um, a bigger um, tip, try one of the smaller ones in, instead. And then what that does, of course, is it means that the AirPod actually fits a little bit further in your ear. And I did it this time, and sure enough, uh, that's what's kept it in there uh, securely. So that was, uh, that was pretty good advice. So you get four different sizes of um, tips there uh, with your AirPods Pro 2. Um, so yeah, the, the test, uh, will tell you uh, whether you've got a good fit or not and then you can f fluff around with the tips if you need to because to, it's very important that there's a tight seal so you're blocking out um, any other um, background noise although you are supposed to be doing this in a quiet room as well. Now from there, if you've ever done a hearing test before um, I, yeah, and I know I have, um, it's very uh, similar experience. In fact, this is a scientifically valid validated test. It's not just something some geek at Apple uh, came up with on a whim. Um, so effectively what it is is that one ear at a time, it'll play a series of tones um, that sort of go beep, 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 three, three times uh, for each tone uh, at different volumes and at different frequencies, high and low. You just tap, your, tap the screen uh, when you hear them, and if you can't hear them, you don't do anything. Um, so uh, at the end of that, uh, you uh, then get a, uh, a result, you know, to, to that uh, hearing test. And if I just go on here uh, to my hearing test that I've already done, I'll show the details of that test there. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the red line on there is my uh, right ear. Uh, the left, the blue line is my left ear. And as I've always suspected, my my right ear is a little bit uh, less uh, able than my uh, left ear. But it turns out that I've got little to no loss in e either ear, so I don't actually require uh, the, the the hearing assist in terms of uh, using it as a hearing aid. Uh, now that um, test result uh, can be exported as a, as a PDF, uh, so you can uh, take that long, along to your um, you know, hearing professional or whatever uh, and compare results uh, if you want, but, uh, or you can just uh, use that test uh, to then start using your uh, AirPods uh, as hearing aids and then it'll boost the uh, frequencies that you're having trouble hearing um, and, you know, at that point, you've really you know, combined uh, two devices into one. So yeah, for four hundred seventy-nine dollars, you're basically getting a free pair of hearing aids as well, which is great. Now, although I don't need hearing aids, uh, I do have the option of turning on media assist because this because what that test shows is that I am missing some frequencies, uh, certainly at at low levels. And by turning on that, that means that the uh, from now on, the podcasts and the music that I listen to have got those frequencies back and the results uh, should be uh, clearer uh, for me. So uh, yeah, it's as, it's as simple as that. Um, we're all done there. And uh, you know, it just seems like a, a, a bit of a no-brainer, especially if you're somebody who is worried about uh, your hearing. Uh, perhaps you've done one of those um, you know, free hearing tests at the chemist um, where, and, and you think, oh, I wasn't expecting results like that. Um, and yeah, it, it, maybe and you, and you think of upgrading your AirPods, uh, 479 versus 3000, like I say, just seems like a no brainer to me.